In this video, we'll be testing this Caddis Rapid six person tent for its ease of setup, takedown, spaciousness, comfort, and more. I bought this Caddis Rapid tent from REI. Here's what the packaging looks like, and here's me unboxing it. Inside the package, I got this black carry bag, two compression straps, the tent body with pre-attached poles, this blue rainfly, a gear loft, the rainfly pole in a separate carry case, 15 stakes in another carry case, and some instructions as well. I put affiliate links below if you want to check it out. To set up this Caddis Rapid six person tent, first unfold the tent flat on the ground. The four poles around the tent are actually fold it so you first have to unfold them like this. Then pull each elbow joint outwards and extend each pole upwards. There are four of these poles to make up the walls of your caddis tent. For each of these wall poles, pull them apart until you see this silver button pop out and click into place. After that, grab the rainfly and drape it over the tent. The shortest part of the rainfly is at the front over the door and the other three sides of the tent have much longer rainfly lengths. Then buckle up the four corners of the rainfly to the other end of the buckle at the bottom of the tent. To tighten and secure the rainfly, just pull on the strap in front. Now break out the rainfly pole, which is for holding the rainfly away from the tent body over the door. To set this pole up, there's a short pole sleeve at the tip of the rainfly and two rings in two of these pole clips for the two ends of the pole. Finally, stake down the tent body with eight stakes and guy out the tent with seven pre-attached guy lines on the rainfly. It took me about nine and a half minutes to set up the entire Caddis Rapid six person tent, including staking and guying out the entire tent. To take down this Caddis Rapid tent, first unzip the door, then remove the rainfly pole, the stakes, and all the guy lines around the tent. After that, unbuckle the rainfly and take it off. To take down the tent body, just press on this silver button on each of the four poles and push down on all the poles to retract them. After that, fold in the four poles at the corners of the tent until your tent goes back to being flat on the ground in this square shape. Then pick up the four edges of the square and fold all the poles together. Place it on the ground horizontally and roll the rest of the tent fabric together. Finally, pack it up together with the rainfly, place it back into the carry bag along with the stakes, rainfly pole, and gear loft. It took me about seven and a half minutes to take down and pack out the entire Caddis Rapid six person tent back into the carry bag. For more details on the setup, take down and pack up and tips on how I set this up on my own, I have this separate video on my channel. The peak height inside this Caddis Rapid six person tent is about 77 inches and I can stand upright here no problem at all. Even when jumping as high as I can, my head doesn't touch the top of the tent. The lowest height in the tent, which is at the four corners, is about 68 inches, which is still taller than my height, so I could stand upright here too. The side walls of this Caddis Rapid six person tent are somewhat vertical, which gives it a nice cabin shape, as well as quite a bit of livable space inside the tent. I can freely stretch my arms out and even walk around the tent easily. Overall, I feel that it's really spacious for someone with my height. The length of this Caddis Rapid six person tent is about nine feet and nine inches and the width is also nine feet and nine inches. So it's quite a few inches smaller than the marketed dimensions of 10 by 10 feet. But I could still fit six regular sleeping pads inside the tent. And here's what having six pads looks like. You do have to sleep shoulder to shoulder, but there's this small space here to fit a little bit of camping gear. I think it's a little bit of a tight fit though, if you have to sleep at the sides of the tent. When I raise my arm up, it touches the wall of the tent and so does my head when I sit up on the pad. Having four people on two queen sized camping mattresses would be a much more comfortable fit. And here's what the Caddis Rapid six person tent looks like with these two queen beds. There's also quite a bit of leftover room for storing gear, which is always very nice to have. One of my mattresses is actually four inches shorter in width than a true queen, which is why it fit nicely into the tent. When I pushed it all the way to the side of the tent, it was just maybe two inches away from my other queen bed. The length of the tent is a few inches shy of being able to fit two actual queen beds, so just keep that in mind. This Caddis Rapid six person tent comes with four massive windows if you include the mesh panel of the door here, but with the rainfly on, just take note that only two of these windows can be opened fully. The window at the front measures about 52 inches in length by 33 and a half inches in width, and the other three windows measure about 63 inches in length by 22 and a half inches in width. From the outside of the tent, you can remove the guy line, unzip the rainfly, and clip the two sides of the rainfly to the sides, one clip on each side, like this. 
Alternatively, you can just clip up one side of the rain fly like this. This is only accessible from the outside of the tent there. However, while the back of the tent has a zip down the center of the rain fly, the other two sides of the tent with longer rain fly lengths do not have the same zip. So instead of windows, you get these vents instead. Each window comes with two black metal zippers. After unzipping the window, you can just tug the window fabric here, like this. You can also use the window latch to make sure the window fabric doesn't unravel. When the window is open, there's no CM bug net to stop any kinds of bugs from getting into your tent. This Caddis Rapid 6 person tent comes with just one door at the front of the tent. With these two zippers, you can unzip it almost completely, leaving just this little bit of fabric attached to the tent. But I couldn't find any latches to tie the door fabric up, though you can use this pocket here for tucking the door fabric in if you want to leave the door open. This door is super huge though and measures about 58 inches in length, 55 and a half inches in width, and about 58 inches from the ground to the top of the door. This is still a little shorter than my height though, so I do need to duck a little when entering. For storage, there's two pockets here, one pocket here, another pocket here, and two more pockets here. These two pockets together measure about 17 by 6.5 inches, and each single pocket near the door measures about 18 by 8 inches. There's also one loop at the top of the center of the tent where you can hang a lantern for lighting at night. Around the lantern loop, you'll find another four loops, and this is for attaching the provided gear loft with the S hooks on the gear loft. It measures about 23 by 25 inches. Also, there's one power port or E port at the bottom of the tent with a Velcro closure. When I put this Caddis Rapid 6 person tent through some light rain, there were no leaks inside the tent even after 5 to 6 hours. As for heavy rain, I used this water hose and after 1 hour, I stopped to check in on the tent. At the three sides of the tent that have really long rain fly lengths, there was no leaking at all. Like zero leaks. Everything was dry because the length of the rain fly covers at least a good three quarters of the tent body and offers really good rain protection, especially when guyed out. However, at the front of the tent, I found that there was some leaking through the two corners of the tent. Even though it was taped, the rain fly at the front is really too short to provide enough rain protection. For more details on this rain test, I have a separate video on my channel. On a rainy day, the three sides of the tent that have really long rain fly lengths completely protected my windows from the rain. So I could leave these three huge windows open in the rain, like this. With the rain fly in place over the tent, these windows become like vents which measure about 19 inches in width from the outside. And this is what the windows look like from the inside of the tent. Also, at the front of the tent, although the rain fly here is pretty short, I found the rain fly pole pretty useful and kind of like diverting the rainfall away from the window mesh here. The rain mostly fell towards the sides of the tent instead and not on the window mesh, so I could crack the front window open a little bit. On a hot day, you can remove the rain fly from the outside for even more ventilation, because now instead of vents, the rain fly no longer blocks the four huge windows around the Caddis Rapid tent. You can also zip the windows shut for more privacy. On top of that, without the rain fly over the tent, there's a lot of mesh on the roof of the tent, which is great for not just hot day ventilation, but stargazing as well. The flooring of this Caddis Rapid six person tent is made of 210D polyester taffeta, while the rest of the tent is made of 190D polyester taffeta. After one hour of heavy rain, I found that the rain fly and fabric all around the tent body were still completely dry, and the bathtub flooring of 7 inches definitely provides great protection against light flooding. Inside the tent, I found that all the seams that were not covered by the rain fly, like the tent body to bathtub flooring seam as well as the door seam, have been taped. The seams that are covered by the rain fly, like the window seams, have not been taped. The seams are generally good quality, double stitched, and consistent, and I found only a couple of loose threads. I also really liked how the fabric under the center hub has been reinforced with extra fabric. Even the parts under the four elbow joints around the tent have been reinforced too. The zippers are also decent quality and all the window zippers are completely catch free. The door however was honestly a lot snaggier than I expected. Unzipping the door is generally not a problem, but zipping it up can be annoying because it snags quite a bit. I noticed that some parts of the seam tape juts into the path of the zippers, which adds to the snagginess. On top of that, this rain cover thing always gets in the way. So from the inside, I had to push the door out when zipping it up, and from the outside, I had to lift the rain cover away from the door when zipping it up. This Caddis Rapid 6 person tent has a packed size of 50 by 15 by 9.5 inches. Here's what it looks like beside a Coleman 6 person sundome tent 
a two-person sandom tent and a 32-ounce Nalgene bottle. It comes with a neat Velcro handle and I can sling it over my shoulder. It weighs about 25 pounds for everything. For pros, I found the instant tent mechanism and design to be high quality. The setup is super easy and the hub is so thoughtfully designed even for an easy takedown just by bringing all the poles together. On top of that, I'm also able to lay the tent down on the ground flat for easy cleaning, which is rare for instant tents. Also, I really liked that the inside of the tent underneath the hub and elbow joints are reinforced with extra fabric for added durability. And that's not all. This Caddis Rapid tent also has a taller than average peak height for instant tents. It is one of my tallest instant tents for sure. I can jump around, walk around, and even stand up on pretty thick air mattresses. The rain protection of this Caddis Rapid tent is also better than your average instant tent. I love that the seam ceiling is really quite thorough all around the tent and the rainfly is also much longer than most instant tents out there. Ventilation is also good, complete with ceiling mesh and four large windows, most of which can be left open in the heavy rain. There's also a decent amount of storage, complete with a provided gear loft, and the door is super huge. If you found this helpful so far, please help me hit the like button, thank you, and I really appreciate it. However, I'm not a big fan of the door though. It was a lot snaggier than I expected, and you have to use two hands to work the zipper for sure. And I also didn't like how it droops in, which is bad in rainy weather because then all the rain rolls off the door and into the tent. Also, another big con is that the rainfly at the front of the tent was so short that it didn't even provide enough shading over the door. After I opened the door, I found that the water on the roof of the tent just dripped right into the tent when the door is open, which is kind of silly. And one small con is that the packed size is huge, it's almost twice as long as a regular Sundome 6 person tent without the instant setup. But overall, I feel that this is a solid case where the pros outweigh the cons for sure. If you're looking for a great instant tent that fits maybe 4 people or so, this is one of the best instant tents out there on the market. If Caddis had made the rainfly at the front of the tent longer though, the rain protection would have been phenomenal for an instant cabin tent. How do I know this? Well, I've bought and tested quite a few instant and six person tents over the years, and I highly recommend that you check out these videos that I'll leave on the screen here, which feature this Caddis Rapid tent. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.